Have y'all seen these jelly gouache paint sets? They seem to be kind of everywhere now. If you do a search on YouTube for jelly gouache, um, you'll come up with lots of videos. They started popping up in my feed and I was watching them and thought, okay, I'll, I'll buy a set, see what they're all about. Um, and I did that because, you know, the, the jelly aspect just kind of intrigued me. Like, what's that all about? I know what gouache is. Um, if you don't know, it is very similar to watercolor, but it is more opaque, a little more of a, I guess, a matte finish. Um, you know, I'm not a, I don't do fine art painting, so it's not a big deal to me. You know, I'm, chances are I'm going to throw this on recycled paper and just have fun with it. So, you know, I don't need fancy high quality paints. But what, what appealed to me was, you know, the, the, the jelly aspect that I mentioned. And that the sets have, um, they're, like there's quite a bit. That, that's kind of a substantial amount of paint whereas if you're going to buy a set of gouache or watercolor you know the pans are usually maybe half this size and this was a set of 24 colors for i think it was around 24 25 dollars so you know a dollar each um that's that's in my affordable range and then it comes in this little thing that you know closes up it's got this little um action right here going on so you know you can kind of seal them tight but from what I understand you can also let them dry out and then just add a little water to reactivate them like a regular watercolor so if they do dry out it's not a big deal so that appealed to me let's open these up and just see what they're all about there's lots of different brands, well I say lots, several different brands, I don't know, four or five maybe, that I was looking at. And then I was overwhelmed because I didn't know which one to get. Um, you know, like I said, I don't need super high quality. Um, but from my point of view, I just really want a good value. You know, decent paints for a good price. So I ran across a video from our friend Lindsay the Frugal Crafter and she did a comparison of several jelly gouache brands and she from what I remember I think she deemed them all to be you know pretty good they're all she didn't have any big issues with any of them I don't think but this is the one that she said you know she kind of preferred and i don't even remember why she preferred it it didn't matter she said she preferred it and i listened to everything that she says <laughs> all right because she knows stuff <laughs> so this is the one i got and it's the brand is artsy and i got it off amazon you know 24 colors for i don't know 24 25 dollars whatever um, and they really are, they seem to be kind of jelly or I guess kind of like whipped paint or souffle paints. They're kind of soft, like soft bodied, I guess. I think I'm getting text messages. Y'all, I got a new phone, which is like way overdue. We were still carrying around our iPhone sixes, I think they were. Um, desperately needed new phones. We didn't get, you know, like the brand new iPhones, just to, I think they're number 11s, um, which we're lacking very much, but I don't have any of my old um, tones on the new phones, you know? My ringtones and um, text tones. So I'm just using the generic ones which I can barely hear, and I usually just end up tuning them out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's that beep? Oh, oh well. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have to get me some new tones. <laughs> I did download one ringtone that I like that I'm going to use, but I have not settled on a text tone. Like, that shouldn't be a major life decision, but apparently, 
for me it is. Now let's paint on something. I've got, this is the leftover Gump's uh, catalog that I got in the mail and I already pulled out the images that I wanted to save from it. There were quite a few. But um, I don't want the rest of them and because I did pull out quite a few pages, there's just a few left, but this is pretty good paper. This is nice, heavy, it's not your typical flimsy catalog paper. It's kind of kind of substantial. So I just might I'll test my paints on here or maybe just make some painty papers. You know, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna throw some paint onto some paper and see what happens. Oh, they are, like I thought, soft and fluffy. As you can see, they're kind of like, oh, I'd say a little thinner than a pudding cup. <laughs> Maybe like a nice Greek yogurt. Yeah, that's about what the consistency is. Oh, look how nice that goes on. Oh, I really do like the way they glide across this magazine paper. If you want to see like a real actual review, um, I'll put a link to Lindsay's video that I watched down in the description. And you know, she can tell you like their properties and how they compare and this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, eh, pretty colors. <laughs> yeah, not going to get too technical here. <laughs> I'm going to cut some fresh wax paper. Mine have got so much stuff all over them. This is probably safer. Yeah. And since these are gouache, we can add, we can watercolor with them. Let's add water. Using a, um, watercolor paper would give you, you know, a much better idea of how they perform, I guess, but not really concerned with that. Okay, I'm going back through a little bit and just kind of fine-tuning now. Um, see? Any paper, just carefree brushing stuff on. And I wanted to do a little reminder of this technique. Sometimes, you know, okay, I'm not very good with color. And, you know, I know colors that don't blend, they're contrasting, but sometimes I like to use them together because they are contrasting and they look cool together. But this one just was not working for me, but then I put the black over it and it's perfectly fine now. <laughs> So that's just that little technique. I've shown it before. Usually I use either black or white. Brush a thin layer on a piece of wax paper. Um, water it down a little bit. And then just do like this. And it just leaves little bits of color. And to me that just fixes everything. If you don't like the way a painty paper is turning out, just try that little, that little trick and see if it helps. Okay, so yeah, now like I said, I'm just going back in and just um, adding mostly more of the same, sometimes different colors, but just filling in so that um, they look more finished. can't tell if that was the purple or the blue, and then I'm not even really sure what I've got on this brush. <laughs> yeah, I'm at that point. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm not sure where I was trying to go with this one. I don't, um, I don't think I got there. <laughs> hmm, let's see. 
These two are awfully similar. Well, it's been about a week <laughs> since I started this video. I got busy. Um, so I sat down to do some more. What I was going to do was some stenciling. I've changed my mind about stenciling over because I'm thinking it could be tricky. But because the paint does lift when you get it wet, and you know, paint on paint is wet. You know what? Let's try it. Let me try one and see. Um, that one really needs that. Where's that one that I was like, oh, this needs a, this needs a something. This one. Yeah, that one just screams stencil on me. And I thought maybe a mandala or something would be cool, but I don't, I don't know that I have one. I mean, like I have one. <laughs> I think I have one mandala stencil. Will it? Will it fit? See, it's going to get weird right there. I don't know if I want to do that. I've got this one. Oh, that could be cool, right? What color would I do it in? I almost always stencil in black and white. Just because that's what I like. That's what I do. So it's like this. And that would fit just right good right there. All right, I think I'm going to try it. Yeah, I don't know that I want that. Well, why not? Why not? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me some black paint. I'm not going to use the um, gouache. And really the only reason is because I don't want to use it all up. You know, because I, I use quite a bit of it. I mean, it goes a long way, especially if you add water, but y'all know I'm really heavy handed <laughs> with my paint. So like my little yellow, I've used half of the little yellow right there. And I mean, there's still a ton of paint left in here, but I can see how I could, you know, use up some of the, um, some of the colors before others are really even touched. So I'm just going to find me some regular acrylic, maybe just craft paint. Is that one open? This says soft black. This says ebony. This is what I want, I think. Some, um, this is Deco Art Americana Lamp Ebony Black. And I'm going to use one of my little stipple brushes. You know, I wonder if this would work. This is one of my makeup sponges. because It's from the powder that I use on my face. And then I used it all up. And I saved this because it's like one of those good dense sponges. I wonder. I'm going to try it. I don't know how well that's going to work. I really don't consider myself to be a very good stenciler. Alright. If I was smart, I would tape this down so it doesn't move. Ooh. This is kind of nice. I'm probably jiggling the camera. Sorry, but this gives a really smooth 
application. Okay, I use Physician's Formula in, um, what is it, Ivory Beige. <laughs> I get it at the Walmarts. <laughs> so yeah, that's where that sponge came from. I don't wear hardly any, in fact, this powder is all I wear on my face. It just covers my rosacea. I don't do the whole, you know, like foundation thing anymore. But I may just start doubling up on the amount I use so that I can accumulate more of these sponges. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That stenciled beautifully. And I'm really, y'all, I'm an awkward stenciler. But look how well that did. And I was afraid it might lift the, the gouache underneath, but I think because I used so little and was really almost kind of dry brushing it on there, it didn't lift. It, you know, the black didn't turn gray. Ooh, I'm really happy with that. Let's stencil some more. You want to? <laughs> I'm going to heat this so we can make sure that it's dry. Okay, I think I've done all I'm going to do for now. I'm probably going to go back and do some more in here, but it's going to be more of the same. So, I really liked the stenciling. It did really well with my little sponge and just um, acrylic craft paint. But, uh, this was really fun. I just think that everyone needs to get some kind of a little catalog with decent paper and try some of these gouache paints or just use your acrylic paints and experiment. For now, that is all I'm going to do. Um, I've decided I like these paints a lot. They cover well. They go on smooth. Um, you know, full strength or watered down, either way, they got along with my, you know, recycled substrate, which is important for me. And when I go to wash my hands, it just washes off easily. Okay, this is all acrylic, so it's not gonna wash off so well. But these wash off like watercolor, super easy. So there's that. Um, okay, y'all, that's all I have for today. The end.